Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Davis Cup has now finished its group stage, and we have the finalists set for November, which is at the end of the season, meaning that eight teams got through the group stage. Let's go have a look at the teams that got through and which teams missed out. So there's four groups of four teams, so 16 teams total. And in Group A, we had Italy and Croatia both getting through with Sweden and Argentina both missing out. Italy won all three of their matches, and Croatia won two out of their three. So Berrettini, Sinner, Chorich, Chilich, they're all playing in the finals, where Sweden and and Argentina both missed out. Having a look at Group B now, and Spain got through with Canada. So Alcaraz, Ogele Asim getting through. And you can see there the two teams missing out, Serbia and Korea. Now Serbia didn't have Djokovic this time, but we know Djokovic loves playing for his country. So that's a big out from the Davis Cup at the end of the year. No Djokovic and no Serbia. Having a look at the Group C now, and Germany without Alexander Zverev still won all their matches, along with Australia getting through as well, meaning that France and Belgium both miss out. So Zverev, if he does come back at the end of the year, will be able to represent Germany in the Davis Cup. And Australia without Kira, still got through. So Diminor and Kokonak is getting the job done there. And in Group D, we have the Netherlands going through undefeated along with America as well. So the United States and the Netherlands are featuring in the finals, but Great Britain and Kazakhstan both missed out. So Andy Murray, Cam Norrie, Dan Evans all missing out from Great Britain. So here is the finals now, and it turns out to be a knockout tournament at the end of the season. So the group stage has happened. Knockout tournament in November with a quarterfinal set. Italy versus America will play the winner of Germany versus Canada with a huge matchup with Felix Ogeliasim possibly playing Zverev at the end of the year. Berrettini versus Fritz. I mean, Sinner versus Fritz. Some crazy matchups potentially there. Australia will take on the Netherlands. And Croatia will take on Spain. So we might get Chilich versus Alcaraz like we did at the US Open. Or maybe even Chorich versus Nadal, which we got in Cincinnati. So some massive matchups there. Potentially, you can see there, we've got Italy versus Canada. Italy versus Germany in the semi-final. Australia versus Spain. I mean, there's some massive matchups there along the way. But now it's a knockout tournament. Davis Cup is set. So there you have it. Davis Cup is set for the year. And that'll be happening at the end of the year after the season's complete in November. Uh, but no Djokovic. Djokovic will not be playing because Team Serbia didn't make it through. And of course, we're not going to get the Russian team either because of what's happened over in the Ukraine. So no Team Russia either, who are the defending champions. But what do you think? It's a pretty good lineup. Let me know down in the comments below. What's your favorite team from the Davis Cup to get through? Are you excited about Spain? Imagine having Nadal and Alcaraz both playing for Team Spain. That'll be unbeatable at the end of the year. But, you know, you've got Berrettini Sinner doing it for Team Italy. So there are some solid teams outside of the Spanish team. So the Davis Cup is set. The quarterfinals ready to go in November.